Many Canadians like pickup trucks, and many Canadians like crossovers too. Some like both, and some like neither. If you're not sure whether you'd be best in a pickup or a crossover, then stay tuned. We are looking at some general pros, cons, facts, and considerations on each that hopefully will help you to make a smarter decision, starting with selection. Simply because of the number of options you have and the range of vehicle sizes they cover, it's the crossover for maximum selection. Most automakers offer at least one crossover model, many offer two or three, or even more. And these cover sizes from small and city friendly like the Kona, Kix, or CX-3, to bigger and more family-ready models like the Pilot, Highlander, and Explorer. On the other hand, most automakers do not offer a pickup truck for sale, and for those who do, the vast majority are mid-sized like the Colorado or Frontier, or full-sized like the Ram or F-150. So all said, it's likely the crossover that gives you the best and most abundant options for sizing the vehicle perfectly against your needs, budget, and locale. Second, toughness and capability. That goes to the pickup truck generally. After all, trucks need to deliver toughness, torque, and traction. That's why they're built like trucks, with a solid steel ladder frame to which everything else is bolted. This setup tends to stand up better to rougher surfaces, enables higher towing and hauling capabilities, and even turns in a ride that feels tougher and more durable, especially on rougher roads. Pickup trucks tend to come with more heavy-duty cooling systems, beefier tires, stronger suspension parts, and more. It's all about giving shoppers confidence to spare if they'll work their machine hard, and if that sounds like you, a pickup truck might be the best choice. Most crossovers offer decent towing and off-road capability, but most are also built like a car, not a truck. Translation, if you'll regularly work your vehicle hard, maybe with heavy towing or frequent off-road use, then a truck might be the better choice. Next up is comfort, which, of course, can be defined in many different ways. A crossover may be more comfortable to board and exit, since they usually sit lower to the ground, but some drivers feel more comfortable in the elevated driving position that you get with a pickup. A crossover might be more comfortable to drive around town because they typically drive and handle like a big car and are often easier to maneuver and park, though a pickup truck is almost always more comfortable on rough roads or off-road trails because the suspension is not car-based and it's designed with frequent rough surface use in mind. Some trucks ride like luxury sedans, and so do some crossovers. There's no clear-cut line on which is more comfortable than the other. There are many variables at play, and it's largely a matter of taste. Find out which one you find most comfortable by test driving as many options as you can on roads and trails that reflect the sort of driving that you're most likely to do. Next, let's talk about the driving experience, which is another matter of personal taste. For many who live or work in a crowded city, a crossover may make more sense for use in tight quarters where they tend to be more maneuverable. For features and content, there's no clear winner or loser. Both crossovers and pickups nowadays feature similar levels of advanced technology designed to make for a better drive. Some shoppers prefer the more solid, dense, and sturdy feel of a pickup truck, while others prefer a crossover for its more compact and car-like ride and handling manners. And what about utility? Well, a few things to note here. First, in a crossover, everything you're bringing with you is stored inside the vehicle, away from prying eyes, extremes of temperature, and the elements. In a pickup truck, larger items typically ride in the box where they may be less protected. Of course, various accessories like locking tonneau covers and in-bed organizers can be added, typically at extra cost, to the pickup of your choosing, which allows you to set up the cargo capability to your own taste. Or go with a four-door pickup and you've got plenty of interior cargo space, provided that no one's sitting in the rear seat. Really, it all comes down to what you're hauling around the most commonly. Will it be dirt bikes or groceries, worksite equipment, hockey gear, pets? Also, consider how often that you'll need to tow and haul. For instance, a crossover and a trailer might be a better choice than a pickup truck for some shoppers or vice versa. And finally, the cost or costs. All else being equal, crossovers tend to be less expensive up front, and even more so if you buy a small one, they're also typically easier on fuel since they tend to use a smaller and less powerful car-based engine. In a pickup truck, you generally need a big engine with a lot of torque, which uses more fuel. All else being equal, you get more capability and power, but you'll be paying for it at the pumps whether you're using it or not. Some pickup trucks have extra-cost high-efficiency engine options that help reduce fuel consumption. 
Finally, a bigger, heavier duty truck with a bigger, heavier duty engine can have heavier duty maintenance and repair costs too, including oil changes, tires, suspension parts, and more. Some shoppers, after weighing the fuel costs, decide to buy a crossover and a trailer instead of a pickup, or even just rent a pickup truck for the few days of the year that they really need one and then drive something easier on fuel the rest of the time. Other shoppers just plain like a pickup truck better and aren't concerned with the fuel bill. It's always nice to have options after all, and no matter what you're considering, you'll find plenty of information over on autotrader.ca as well as our YouTube page. That's it for this quick video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content, and we'll see you in the next one.